What's good y'all, welcome back. Today we are gonna be reacting to 12 videos that will haunt you by chills. Now I know we are all cut up with Snarled. Um, so I was like, let's let's try out this channel my friend had told me about. Uh, I already watched like one of his videos before. I'm not a fan of his voice and you guys will understand why when you watch this reaction. If you guys wanna see more from this channel, let me know. I don't, like, if y'all want it, I'll do it. But me personally, I don't know if I'll ever come back just for the reason. You guys will see. You guys will see. But um, original video link will be down in the description. Let's get into the video. I think that you are going to remember these videos for a long time. And I hope watching them doesn't cause you to experience any haunting consequences. See, Number 12. You see how he talks? Like, we're not even... We haven't even started yet, really. And this is what this that's how he talks about the whole video. Now, I don't know if it's just me and I'm just bothered by it or it's something that I have to get used to. But I'm I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan. Oh, Content's good though. It's I'm just not a fan of how he talks. On a Saturday, when a stranger picks up this random Corona California family to be his next target. Here he bashes open the front door using nothing but a kid's scooter left out from the day before. Why he hits so the skinny? glass with such force that it only takes one blow to get in. Oh, From there, shit. he proceeds to chase the mother and her two daughters into their bedroom, which they lock and barricade themselves into. These holes are where he tried to bash through a closet with a hammer that he fuck? found in a toolbox. If the walls had been even a little thinner, he would have gotten through. Police later took the man into custody and charged him accordingly. What based the on the they, raw aggression displayed in the CCTV video and the holes left behind, I don't think there would have been much left of the family for police to identify if the intruder had gotten to them. Number 11. The I'm gonna be honest, if that was my house, homie would have got shot. Homie would have got shot. Not even high key. You see how skinny he was? It looked like he hadn't ate for days. You probably could have just like fucking threw a toothpick at him and he would have went down. are talking in the kitchen when someone else pulls up a chair to join them. The only problem is no one's there. When one of them finally notices that the chair is a full two or three feet away from the table, he's so startled that he doesn't even close the refrigerator. He just wants to get away fast, which is a realistic reaction for sure. A chair move. Of course, no one else in the group believes his bizarre story at first, but when they see it for themselves, their scared reaction are as legit as can be. I'll I'm gonna be real, I don't know if I believe this one, only for the fact that the camera is perfectly set up to be pointed like at the chairs. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel Glad about that. that the fear and surprise on his face is readily it. apparent here too. All of them are trying to come up with a rational explanation, and the best answer they have is that the man in a white shirt is somehow causing it to happen. It's true that the chair only seems to move when he is either approaching it or standing nearby. Just when they are beginning to calm down, a final event seems to confirm their suspicions. Yeah, I don't know, bro. He a little too calm, too. Know what you think is happening here, and if you he think this is a prank or the early stages it, 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 of a spiritual niggas possession, don't play with ghosts. Number so 10, I know their reaction would have been more real if that shit was true. Playfully smacking around a Brillo pad when it stops to look straight up, ears back, completely frozen, almost as if someone invisible is standing over it. Next, an orb floats upwards and makes it jump straight hmm. into the air. After a while, the house pet regains that shit real, its toy, only to stop and look around again, slightly bewildered. It looks at its owner briefly and then follows the orb with its head in a swooping motion, possibly the very same orb as before. There's no doubt that the cat sees something out of the ordinary as it tracks the orb perfectly. Both times, it completely loses interest in the toy and seems somewhat alarmed over an unseen presence. I guess there could be some other explanation, but if I was alone and saw all of this going on, I would definitely question if my house was haunted. And y'all know Number animals nine, can see that type of shit, a so YouTube like... YouTube channel called Exploring yeah. with Danny is checking out a chapel cemetery that is so mm, haunted. I don't know. They only feel comfortable approaching by day. This one I'm already skeptical because it's a YouTube channel. And this time they are disappointed to find that commercial locks are in place and that everything looks to be boarded up. Still, they are determined to get inside and they keep moving along the perimeter, searching for another way in. 
After a while, the camera person feels watched and makes the mistake of looking up. No. How come you're not getting through them boards, eh? Bro, that literally looked like the nine. Watching over them is a frowning pale figure. I got, I got a little bit of chills, but I don't know. That shit just seems a little too strange. their friends, but given the new measures, I'm not skeptical to go see out. I don't see how this is possible. You would think that they would run at such a site, but this encounter only makes them more determined to bust a new way inside, which they eventually do. They soon reach the interior steps and feel watched again. The figure is staring back at them from above once more, perhaps twice as displeased to learn they've gained entrance. This time, they all duck into a room and watch it silently pass. The thing retreats down a long hallway, but when Danny follows, it's the last glimpse any of them get of it before scattering. Number Bro, eight. Bro, if y'all- okay, hold up. If y'all go through all of this work, right? To, to start following this this thing looking at you and you're like basically a hallway away from them and you just run away like what was the fucking point so that i don't know i don't know i don't believe Ethan that one his at apprentice all. rummage around the kitchen to do some last minute prep work before Is that a opening. Rat? one of them undoes the plastic ties from all of the bread and then takes a few steps away That's moments hit. later he looks over only to see a single remaining piece of bread raise itself in the air and land in the corner with a smack he tries to explain what happened to a co-worker as he examines the bread for anything wrong finding nothing i was waiting for it to jump back out after he throws it away but i guess it's done moving for now Everybody probably thought he was going crazy, and maybe he did too, until they checked out this haunting video for themselves and posted it online. Number 7. With her camera recording, a girl kneels before a darkened doorway and challenges a spirit to touch her. A light passes over the room and her hair is brushed over her shoulder as if someone is passing through. Excuse me? I find this video hard to believe because that definitely looks like a flashlight coming from the other room. Based mm. on the way it hits the wall beside her in a concentrated circular beam. With that said, it still doesn't explain how her hair moved with no one nearby. Let a me know fan, if nigga? this effect is possible to do in Photoshop, or whether or not you think this is real. If it is real, then I have no idea why she would want to summon something so powerful in her own home. Right? Number six. A group Anybody that be doing that whole, like like summoning like circle what, what, what uh fucking ouija board shit keep that shit away from me i'm not with that because that's some real shit i don't i don't i just don't get it niggas just don't niggas don't do that shit we just don't we don't do it and if anybody says well nope that's a lie because i actually know what hmm most niggas don't do that shit but that's beside the point. Group of ghost hunters called PXTV go deep in the Wombwell Woods, a haunted forest in the UK where many people sadly go to take their lives. They split up to cover maximum ground and one of them, Steve, finds a spot he deems suitable to begin an EVP session, which stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon. He sets up his EVP box and asks any spirits nearby to make a light go on. When it does, he asks for two lights, but gets this verbal warning instead. Can you make two lights light up? Ovilus has just said run. But something descends upon Steve before he gets a chance to do as told. <gasps> I didn't exactly see anything, but Steve says that he was pushed out of the way by something nearby. Mm. And when he looks at his EVP box, the translator displays the word RUN written in all capitals. That's I'm not sure if there's any way to tamper with these devices and make them safely know, this programmed messages or not. What think? But assuming this video really is unaltered, then the evidence is all right there to see. Number 5. This computer animation short called Banjo Gyro has been haunting the internet for about 20 years now. There's something I've simultaneously comedic and unnerving about the way the characters move and talk, and the background music also sounds extremely dark. Um, uh, 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 do not need Them niggas look like, uh, uh, Hanky McSpanky, that one dude from that, from Jimmy Neutron episode. Making friends some kind of monstrous humanoid. The way it turns around and moves its neck is really bizarre. 
So bizarre that many people have reported seeing its evil looking face haunting them in their dreams for years afterwards. It's not even Number evil. Four. It's hard to say if this video is really paranormal or simply due to a baby's loose grip. Keisha Vosquez is singing to her child when in her eyes, a hairbrush is ripped from her daughter's hands. Watch the moment it happens and tell me if you think she dropped the brush or if it was taken by an unseen force. Bebe. I don't know, because I swear I just saw an orb. I was inclined to write in this off as a fumble. Hold on. But notice how it approximately Yeah, I think I just seen an orb. Yeah, orb orbs. crawls along the right side of the screen seconds before the hairbrush leaves her hands. Followed it by could be real. orbs immediately after. She could have dropped it too. Since these orbs could be it's an a indication of the supernatural, I think either explanation holds weight. And I look forward to getting your thoughts. Number three. Claire Julian has a guest over when they both notice her paper dragon wall ornament is swaying slightly. Zoom in and you'll see the very bottom swings back and okay. forth. Hardly noticeable unless you really were looking. There is no draft and the air conditioner is not on. They aren't sure what to make of it. So Claire half jokingly challenges the ghost to do better, which I'm not so sure was a good idea. You have to do better than that. Oh. I was thinking that this movement could have been the minute hand of the clock hanging behind it, but Claire says oh, that yeah. this clock doesn't work anymore. And now that mm, I think that's about it, I didn't hear any ticking. Therefore, you know, it could be a silent Claire clock. Claire has a poltergeist in her home, one that she should stop challenging. Number two. The Vancouver Paranormal Society investigates a house whose owner has been complaining of strange activity during late hours. They gather in the living room and decide to address the spirit outright. You can hear two taps after they try and get its attention. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. They next explain the rules of communication and get no response. Give me uh, a knock for yes or two knocks for no. That means it actually tapped twice to signify no when they said they were going to ask it a series of questions. Not only did it respond, but it somehow knew what it was going to be asked before they even said the question. As if that wasn't weird enough, as soon as they ask the spirit if it used to live here, they get a visual disturbance in front of the pillow that's in the woman's lap. Did you oh, used to live here? Homie sat down right next to her. All of these signs. <laughs> I was good little house model. to be uninhabited by spirits. After watching these instances, however, I beg to differ. Before we get to number all one, right, number my one. name is Chills, and I hope you're enjoying my narration. Are you uh, curious about what I look uh, like in real life? <laughs> Let me know what y'all think of his narration down below. And YT to find out. Do you like my narrations? If you answered yes, then tap the follow button and thank you for your support. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. Also, don't forget I upload a new video here on YouTube every Thursday and Saturday. Number one. Oh, we got an ad. No! We back. W2 History Hunter combs an old battlefield in search of artifacts when he suddenly feels watched. What the fuck is that? He looks into the distance and thinks he sees ghostly movements ahead. Apparently, the leaves keep rustling in this one spot in particular, but when he goes to check, no one is there. I think I see what he is talking about, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Big aware is following me. He just saw that and I've seen that three times now. He checks this area no less than three separate times, but like I said, I'm having trouble making it out for sure. Still Can y'all see it? that I do hear a clear reply when he starts I'll talking see again. There's a short pause and then a voice right behind him says Yup. Very, very spooky. The ground he is standing on has seen a lot of action, so maybe talking about the battle while picking stuff up was enough to summon a spirit. He could have been standing directly over their buried body for all we know. You will never forget these ghost videos. All right, that is the end of the video. Now, like I said, let me know what y'all think of his uh, commentary in the comments down below if y'all want me to react to more of his stuff. Um, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of how like he com commentates over his stuff but you know it's, it's entertaining 
and the content is good so i mean i'm always down to do it if y'all want it um yeah three more days until halloween i'm excited even though i'm not doing shit i might like treat myself to like a candy bar and some ice cream and watch a scary movie but that's about it but i hope y'all have a good halloween when it finally does come like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video i love y'all peace i'm gonna pull up in that new thing